So I have glued this one up now, taken it out of the clamps, set up my jig and I'm going to flatten the top. What am I going to use this for? Well, I have an old singer table sitting outside and it doesn't have a top on it. So I think this is going to be the perfect top. I'll give it a good soaking in oil once I've had my coffee. So that one's flattened now, I'm happy with that. I think it's going to look very, very nice. Just going to have to sand it all down on both sides. And uh, I've got some little areas where I'm going to have to fill in. Um, these were originally from a, an old hammock that I had. Um, so these were the uh, where the rope went through. So I need to fill them, them in, get it all sanded down, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So it's ready for, almost ready for sanding. I've just, uh, I've gone and filled in some of the, the little holes. Um, so I just need the glue to dry off on that and then can get to it. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be the tabletop for my Singer table. The Singer table didn't have a top on it. It only sits out in the garden. I'll show you, I'll show you what it is. So this is the Singer table. It's. Uh, it's not in too bad a condition, it does need a clean up, um, which I will do eventually. It does actually still work though, it should do. Well, at least I had it working the other day, there you go. So it does, it does still, it's still free. So I do try to make sure that it, uh, it does stay that way. So then we got the dogs, look. Dogs milling around, basically because uh, they want their food. Uh, and this, I me being the, the main workshop, this is where Ali works for La Vida Loca Jewellery. But uh, there's my, my nice bench seat that I made to the planter pots. So I'm very happy with that. It's come out really well. And then just over here is where I made the recent planter, the three-tiered planter. So you can see that. So that's uh, good, still got to fill it. I'll get it eventually. Sorry, I'm being hassled by dogs at the moment. Gonna have to go sort them out. So it's a new day. After I sorted out the dogs yesterday, we ended up doing a few errands in the city. So I didn't actually get any filming done. Um, but so we're gonna come back to uh, the, what's gonna be the tabletop. Uh, I think I'm just going to probably router the edges just to uh, neaten it off a little bit. And then I think I will um, I still got to do a bit more sanding. Not quite happy with the top yet. Still a few little bits to uh, to be done. You can still see some of the the router marks where where I flattened it off. Um, but first of all, I need to drink the coffee. Where have I put my glasses now? Every time guaranteed I lose my glasses because I put them down somewhere. They're on your head. I knew that. Two. 
So now I've got this all sanded down nice and smooth. I'm going to trim off the top and the bottom. Um, and it just so happens to be just the right width to go on my mitre saw. Perfect. So if I almost made it to be so... I didn't. Luck. So I have done a chamfer edge all the way around on this now, um, so it's looking a lot better for the edges. Though while I was doing that I did actually notice I had more imperfections in the wood uh, to where I had holes, so I've got to always keep a little bit of sawdust, in fact I've got a whole bucket load but I always keep a little bit in this tub so it's handy to use with a bit of glue. So I've actually filled those in now with the sawdust and glue so I'll let that go off and then I'll get it all sanded down and finished off. Then we're on for the well, the, the fitment onto the uh, singer table. But I think what I'm going to do instead of just screwing it in from the underside I think I'm probably going to use some um, drill and fit some threaded inserts um, and then bolt it. I just think it'll hold a little bit better than um, than putting the screws in, so where well, the screws could potentially rip out, whereas I think the threaded inserts will be nice and solid. Um, so that's the plan. So now it's a waiting game to let this uh, let these dry, and then I can get it sanded. Okay, that's all dried off now, and I've sanded it down. So unfortunately found one little area where there was still too much of a pinhole which I didn't like so I've had to just fill that one more and uh, it should dry fairly quickly but we're pretty well much into the stage now really I think I can go and get the table and we can start seeing where I need to drill the holes for the threaded inserts but first of all I think I'm going to clean up the workshop because there is sawdust absolutely everywhere. clean workshop best way all for me to make a mess again which I'm pretty sure I'll do I think half of us end up spending so much time cleaning up the workshops but hey oh it's part of the process um, so we can get on to this right, I'm gonna as always I'm gonna have my coffee first cheers So what I've done, I've centred it, I've got it in the position that I wanted and I've marked now where I need to uh, drill so I can take this off, get it drilled and get the threaded inserts put in. Well, I've um, got my drill bit. I have my threaded inserts, I also have my stainless bolts that I'm going to use. I've marked off on the drill bit for the depth that I need to go down to. 
to now going to drill these in and get these inserted. There, job done. Now let's hope and pray it all lines up. Just do a test fit first. I will have washers in these when I fit it, but I'll take it off to oil it first. So. I may need some longer bolts. So far, so good. It says. I think it will. Back in. Good. And four that are good. Awesome. So now, now I know that I've actually drilled it correctly and that it will bolt in properly. I'm going to take it back off. I'm going to sand this last little piece down and then it's onto my favourite bit applying the oil. Oh, I love that bit. That should sort of bring up all the grain and everything and should hopefully make it pop. So, get on. So I've sanded this piece down now, um, so that's uh, all nice and smooth. I know it's, it's not a colour match, um, however this is only going to be a temporary top for this singer table. My eventual plan is to sandblast or strip down the uh, table itself, the framework, and uh, repaint it. Want to, I want to paint it all black and then I want to pick out in gold all of the little features and then eventually once I've found the wood that I want to use, I plan to do a black river table top for it, but I want something nice and chunky. Um, this one is only thin, I mean it's predominantly bits of off-cut pallet wood, plus the, the two um, pieces that I robbed from an old hammock that I had. Um, so it's only a temporary top, um, but uh, for me it's a bit of fun, it's a learning curve, you know, because my, my general thing, I make lamps. Um, but I also enjoy doing bits of woodwork, so I like to mix it up a little bit. Um, but uh, um, yeah, my lamps are my main main thing that I do. Um, and if you want to go and check those out, go to pipeandpalletuk.com, where I sell them there. Um, and they're quirky lamps too. But uh, anyway, back onto this. Get back on the subject, Adam. So what I'm going to do first of all. Um, I'm going to just wet the wood just to bring up the grain um, before I go and put any oil or stain on. Um, just want to uh, um, make sure it's okay. I'll let that uh, dry and then uh, we'll be going for putting on some oil. See how we get on.
perhaps this should also give a good idea of what it's going to look like when it's uh, oiled. And I think it's going to look pretty darn good. I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe that down a little bit. And then we'll let it, we'll let it dry. This should bring up the grain. So uh, when I do oil it, it doesn't bring the grain up then. Which is one mistake that I have made before. And as I was told there, really you should do it for anything. It mainly happens when you're using stain, water-based stains. Um, so, but, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let that dry. But I think you'll agree, once it's oiled, I think it's going to look pretty damn good, even if I do say so myself. So I've put uh, 320 grit on this one. I was hoping to hand sand it, but I can't find any 320 grit um, sandpaper other than these ones. So I'll just go lightly on this one, bring the speed down a bit. Um, but just get this nice and smooth. As I said, all nice and sanded down. I've done it all the way around it now. Nice and smooth top. I'm happy with that. So I am going to I'm going to coat it in teak oil. Is it the right thing for outdoor? Well, there's a bit of a mixed response on Google. Um, some say yes, some say no. Um, I don't know. You tell me. I'll tell you the reason why I'm using teak oil. It's because it's the only thing I've got. So teak oil is what I'm going to use. I do love this bit. It is definitely my favourite part of doing any wood project. Is actually coating it in a well. Lovely, lovely. I do love the way the colours pop. Just bringing up the grain. I think I'd much rather have natural look than put in any darker stain on it. Oh, this is going to look so good, even if it is a temporary top. Apologies about the road noise, I can't do anything about that unfortunately, being as we live right next to a main road. It's a little bit out of my hands. I have 
I met during Covid. It's really, really very nice not having any road noise. It had to be the best part of it. But we were fortunate enough to have a reasonable sized garden where we could actually enjoy the weather. Certainly felt sorry for the people that were stuck in apartments, etc., with no outdoor space. Oh, look at that! You gotta admit, that does look good. Yes, for a temporary top, I think it will do. Well, that's it, people. All done. Temporary top for a singer table. I'm happy with it. It'll do for now. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw here, please do like and subscribe. It'll help me out. And go check out my lamps on pipeandpalletuk.com. There's some good lamps there. Have a great day.